One of the best things that you can do for a feral animal, it doesn't even have to be a horse, is make yourself available for them to find their own confidence, find their own bravery, let them explore the surroundings around you, just make yourself available. Let them do their own version of approach and retreat. As you can see, like if I glance over and I think he would catch eye contact with me, I'll look away. And I do that to make sure that I continue to promise him I'm not going to put any pressure on you. By keeping my back to him, I'm telling him I'm not going to put any pressure on you. By stepping away, I'm encouraging him to take forward steps in finding his bravery. Now here, I'm not, I know it looks like I'm looking at him. I'm looking in his direction, but I'm looking at his feet. Um, if I ever look in the horse's direction, I don't look at their face. I look at their feet. Now see, even that, look at how much pressure that put on him. Did you see how he was like, oh, uh, I don't know. So now watch how he looks at me and now watch his ears. His ears turn into worry. Worry goes out to the sides. They get kind of like donkey ears. Now here's the moment where he's contemplating, I think this is too much pressure. So he's going to try to just look away. And now he's even going to make it in a full body evasion. It was too much pressure for me to be looking at him. And he didn't know how to handle that. So he chose to retreat in that moment. Now look at the bravery that's starting to come over this little guy. He's making decisions about wanting to see me, but he knows that he wouldn't be able to confidently come towards my face. So what he's going to do is he's going to try to approach me from a kind of a behind direction. And that's because, again, the pressure of my eyes, the pressure of the front of my body is kind of like uh, very loud. You know, the front of your body is very loud in the direction of a horse. So if they're unconfident and they're uncomfortable with you, they're going to come to the backside of you. Also, if he were to suddenly decide that he could get brave enough to touch me, he would try to explore me from above. He would touch me from the top of my head, the top of my shoulder, or where my back is kind of bent. He wouldn't touch me from my waist, my legs, or anything like that. He would touch me from above. Now here, we're just trying to make recontact again. Um, these videos were videos that had been put back together. So some of the footage, I don't know, got lost in translation or something. I lost, you know, a piece. Now here, he threatened me. Did you see him threaten me there? Okay, so let's look at this again. He pauses in his confusion. So I raise my hand to say I need you to keep going forward. And then I offer support to push him or drive him forward by swinging the rope slightly in his direction. He got a little worried by that. So now watch this right ear. It's going to flip back at me. Now watch. You can't see his right eye, but when he took that hip step towards me, that was his way of saying, do you see my tail? Do you know that I could kick you right now? Am I going to need to use this? And as you can see, because there was no response from me, he gave up. So right here, what you're witnessing is just his lack of education. Sometimes people feel like their horses are just try not trying or they're being stubborn or whatever. He doesn't know that I'm asking him to walk in that direction. So he's trying all different things. He's trying not moving. He's trying moving slow and then stopping. He's trying to go the other way. All I'm trying to do now is to just give him enough 
driving encouragement forward. My left hand is telling him the direction I'd like him to travel, and my right hand, unfortunately, does not have enough support. I don't have enough line to use, a, you know, to what I call fanning the end of my line. I don't have that available to me with this length of line, so I have come unprepared. But uh, he is properly responding to my driving him by waving my hand. I otherwise would like to be able to see how I'm using the end of my line there. I call that my fan and my support. All I'm doing is I'm trying to support his moving forward by driving him forward with that energy, fanning that line, and asking him to go forward. As soon as he does go forward, I lower my driving hand, I lower my guiding hand, and I ask him to just be responsible for what he chose to be the right answer. I don't continue to drive, I don't continue to put pressure, and I don't continue to guide. I say, look, I gave you all the information, now you use it. This is a process. These are all thoughtful steps. He is not being bad. He's not being disrespectful. He's not being stubborn. He is thinking his way through this problem. What's the problem? The lady's putting her hand that way. She's swinging a rope at me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What answer should I find? Now here, I'm just encouraging him to come to me. I just want him to walk straight towards me. And I'm smiling at him, which is something that you obviously can't see, but I'm offering him friendliness, and I'm going to continue to ask him to come to me. I'm not going to, if he comes towards me, I'm going to give him a break. Now, I'm going to reel myself probably out of here. Oh, I guess I already did show him how to back away to rhythmic pressure. So, unfortunately, these videos, um, are being pieced back together from years ago and some footage is missing. It's not that it's been cut out, I just actually don't have it anymore. Okay, so I can't wait to get fly spray on this little guy. I'm sure this is one of my next missions is to get fly spray on him. See how I reel myself away? I, I said this in a different video, but I reel myself away. I don't even put a drag on that line. Like I don't even open my hand and pull myself away, allowing the line to fall between us because even that can cause enough of a drag on the line to uh, affect the horse's um, need to figure out what I'm asking for. So see, even there, I did it a different way, but I still continued to reel myself away from the horse. A lot of energy out of nowhere. Um, that was nice. I don't know if you heard that. Nice guy. And his eyes, I don't know if his, his eyes are little... softening. Yeah, they're a little softening. I'm hesitating for my own reasons now. Oh, yeah, now. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, please don't get hurt. <laughs> don't worry, I love bruises. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, that? <laughs> That's fun. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm, like, looking forward to it changing colors. Oh, yeah. Right down to clean it out. So here I'm approaching his hip, acting like I'm going to look at his tail, and then what I'm looking for is for him to shift his hindquarters away from me, away from the pressure that I'm providing. 
this little horse has decided that he uh, wants to threaten to kick. I don't think he wants to follow through with that, but we're going to go ahead and teach him about respecting the hindquarters should never be pointed in my direction. So I'm just explaining to him about yielding his hindquarters through a look first and then pressure or support from the line as I swing the line in a fanning way towards the hip and I'm encouraging him to yield his hip away from me. Now generally I want them to cross that leg that's closest to me when I'm coming on that side. I want them to cross it over or under their belly over the front of the other foot. And the reason I want them to do that versus just shuttle step is because that shuts off the engine. When they shuttle step, when they just do side steps together, they, uh, they kind of keep it in neutral. They don't really turn off the engine. If he wanted to just blast forward in that moment, he could, but with his legs crossed, he can't. So this teaches them right in the beginning about the one rein stop, about the hind yields. Now there, that was mildly stepping at me, but I don't know that he had too much intention behind it. But I did notice if you saw the intentions behind some of the first steps that he took when I walked away.